close up my locks. It's your girl back again with another video. Um, I have been gone for quite some time. I think my last video that I recorded and posted was probably back in, it's kind of hard to say. I think it was maybe April, I wanna say, somewhere around there. A lot has changed for me, which is why I took a break. I really wanted to go on this lot journey with you guys and you know show progress, but life happened. Uh, for many of us, the pandemic happened, which was crazy, which is still happening, but we're seeing a little bit more of a lighter day from that. Um, but just to catch you guys up to speed on what's been going on with me, um, I bought a house, so that was huge. Um, I bought a house in June, um, so I'm officially a homeowner. So I'm super excited about that. That was something that I definitely wanted to accomplish um, before it kind of got too late. I felt like the pandemic was like a perfect time to do that. Um, I'll be 30 this year, so that was something that I kind of wanted to establish before I kind of got to a certain age. So um, the process was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So if anybody has any questions about that and wants to know further about it or wants me to do a video about that, I'd be more than happy to do that because I actually gained a lot of knowledge during that time frame. Um, so I'd definitely be willing to share that. Um, another thing that I did was get myself a car. I had one already, but when I bought my first car, um, I wasn't financially in a good position, so I needed something because my previous car before I got that one was a 2003 Mitsubishi and it was a convertible, but then the seals were all messed up and that was just a mess and I didn't feel like getting it fixed. So I ended up getting me a 2010 Scion XB and I love that car. It was really good for like gas mileage, low maintenance, cause it's a Toyota. Like it just never steered me wrong, but it wasn't something that was necessarily a first choice. I've always liked them. So it was definitely something that was like, yeah, if I'm gonna, you know, get something that is affordable, let me get that. But the car that I wanted was a Jeep Wrangler and we know how expensive those are. So I ended up accomplishing that. Um, right after I bought my house and keep in mind, if you are thinking about buying a house, do not buy a car first or make any major purchases because they do look at that and that will hurt your debt to income ratio. So don't do that. Wait on that. So yes, I am an owner of a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sports and it's lime green. Um, many people who know me know that my Scion has green rims on it. So with my Jeep, I kind of wanted to keep the same theme going and that's got a whole backstory, which I'm not going to like really go into at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I got myself a Jeep and I'm pretty happy with it. I have no complaints about it, but like I said, I'll upload a sep separate video, um, kind of going through the things I like and dislike and if that is something that you would be interested in, different things like that. Um, but one of the major, 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 major things that happened to me this year and which really caused my break to start was, um, I actually lost my mom this year. Um, back in 2018, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and it was stage three triple negative breast cancer. And at the time... It was something that could be controlled. Um, she took, you know, her chemo, she had her surgery and all of those things went very well. So once she was done, I believe um, she was done in January of 2019 and everything was looking great. Um, we were very thankful to have her throughout the holidays and she wasn't sick anymore um, and everything was looking up. Well, Fast forward to 2020, she got re-diagnosed with brain cancer and it shattered me. Um, 
I have never went through anything as traumatic as that in my entire life. Um, I think the thing that bothers me the most is that that was my best friend. Sorry. Um, to see somebody go through something like that is difficult. And I guess the thing that I am happy for the most is that she's not in pain. Um, I try not to think about the months that we went through. I mean, it was fast. It was literally a five month time frame to where it was, this is what we're doing. And then literally she's gone. So 2020 taught me a lot about everything. Um, it taught me to be thankful for what you have. It taught me to go for everything that you want. Do not let certain things stop you from reaching those goals because we don't know what's going to happen. There's no way in this world, if you would have told me that I was going to lose my mom in 2020, that I was going to believe that. Like, there's just no way. Like, when I tell you me and that woman did everything together, that was my best friend. And to not have her around is just very difficult because life is just strange. Um, it's weird enough going through a pandemic, but when you lose someone close to you as a mother, like, losing anybody hurts. But those of you who know what it feels like to lose a mom, it's a different type of pain. And it almost makes you feel like you're bipolar. Like I can talk about the situation and if I really, really dig deep, I will get emotional. Absolutely. Like there's just no, you know, no way around it. But one thing is, is that I can talk about it. I can get my cries out and then suddenly I'm okay. So it's like, it makes you feel weird. Like one minute you're crying, the next minute you're just, you're fine, you're okay. So I know as time goes on, I will be perfectly fine. But right here in this moment, as I'm living, it hurts. It is a different type of pain that I cannot even describe to you. I can't, I wouldn't, I would not wish it on my worst enemy. And to say that all of us are going to go through it is an understatement or not an understatement, but it is kind of not true um, if you're lucky enough, I should say, to go through it. And that's almost a contradiction. But I say that to say my, grand my, my grandparents are still alive. My mother's parents are still alive. My mom was 56 years old when she passed away. My grandparents are in their 80s. So she never got to experience that sort of life change. My grandparents, though, have experienced in losing two of their children. They've had, they have five, but they lost two of their children. So I've lost my mother and my uncle. Um, so to say that everybody will go through it eventually um, is not necessarily true. But what I will say is that the thought process of I couldn't imagine. Like, I think that is what we say because it's just kind of like you couldn't imagine. Well, I'll say this, regardless of what happens in your life, you'll be fine. You'll be okay. I never imagined losing my mom and being able to even move on. Like I remember talking to her before she passed when she was going through everything and I, I went through it too. Um, and I told her that I just don't know how I would make it without her. And she told me I'll live. So those are things that I keep in my head often and I push forward and I push forward for so many different reasons. For one, she's such a strong individual. Um, even the day that she passed, I mean, she was strong up until forever. So I cannot allow life to bring me down at all. And I stand here very, very strong, but, um, I stand here strong for other reasons and I want you guys to just kind of stay tuned for the rest of the video because I will let you know how something else has impacted my life. So 
Um, before I cut it short, do not forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell because I will be back with way more content now. This is something that my mother told me to push myself to. Um, and I'm definitely going to do that. Oh, before I go, the whole point of most of y'all following me is that I did start my locks. So with that being said, my hair is actually, um, it'd be a year old of me having locks, which is really wild to even think that a whole year has went past already since I've locked up, but, um, it is coming. And right now, my hair is at a decent length, um, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's pretty full. I, I can't complain. Like, it's interesting too, before I cut the video short, that's what I want to touch on. It's very interesting how when I first got my locks done, my loctician literally only touched my hair one time. Um, and then from February up until my mom's funeral is when I had him do my hair again. So between an entire year of me having locks, he has done my hair twice. I say that to say, do not think that having locks is like super crazy maintenance. Um, you definitely want to take care of it. Oils, moisturization, all that good stuff, because you don't want breakage. It ain't cute. But, um... Do not think that it's a super expensive um, hairstyle. I came from the big poof, as most of you know, um, and I'll tell you, between locks and loose natural hair, you are gonna come out way more expensive with a loose natural. It's more versatile, I'll give you that. But between products that you go through, time, all kinds of things, you will notice that it is very time consuming and then most of the time you have to almost learn to love your hair because it'll come out ways that you're like i'm not really feeling this you do a twist down it looks horrible i've been there it is what it is but with locks you get up and you go that's it i don't do nothing to my hair it literally just free um i had it in twist and then i took them out so some of them are crinkly but they do their own thing so i don't even mess with it so if you're considering locks I'm just gonna let you know now, I have no regrets. So that tells you anything. But anyways, I'm gonna cut this video short. Stay tuned for a surprise. And again, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click on that bell. Make sure you don't miss any notifications. And I'll leave you with being positive, love everyone around you and know that whatever you are getting through in life, you can get through it. See ya.